Hello, hello, it's Ashley from the Co-Edition team. Welcome back to On The Plus Side. I am so excited you're here. This week, we are talking about swim season stress. I know a lot of us have it. And um, I am just really excited to talk about this because swim season is like upon us, or it's right around the corner. Um, so let me bring my girl Jamie in so we can start this chat. I'm so Hi! Hello! You look so cute. Thank you. I am oh sorry about that. <laughs> I am wearing a suit. I oh my gosh, you, you look adorable. Um, but oops, oh my gosh. So last week my head was cut off for like the entire live. And so if that happens again, I looked like I was completely in frame. So if that happens again, you all need to tell me in the comments. So because it was like, I think it was like from here, from here down. And then like my dad told me afterwards and I was like, oh my gosh. So um, if people, if, if I look half cut off, let me know. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. You look very work chic, very boss esque. Thank I you. Love I it. had a different live today, so I was like, okay, I'll just wear the same thing I wore before. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. You look so put together. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Even though it is like totally chilly and rainy in New York today, since we are talking about suits, I thought I would put on one that I have. You look um, so cute. Let me like give you guys. <laughs> Let me see if I can give you guys a little bit of a, I'm like sitting on my new couch, but this is it. This is the pattern. It's off the that shoulder. Is so cute. This is by Raisins Curve. We have it on the site right now. It's called um, Tortuga One Piece Ooh. by Raisins Curve. And it comes, so like, so it's off the shoulder. Like you can see, so cute. I feel like you could like suits nowadays, you could almost double them as like a bodysuit and like pair it with jeans and like mm -hmm. this off the shoulder look. Oh my gosh. I mean, adorable. I should have set this up better. So you guys can see. The pattern is like gold. It's so cute. I love it. I think it's so mm -hmm. cute. And then, um, I love, um, Raisins Curve because they really cater to like all body types. And if you feel like you want more security, it comes with straps. And yes. look, it's like rose gold hardware. Adjustable. Isn't that, that is so, so cute? I um, really thought of it all. And I also love, like, so it's, I wouldn't say it's tight, but it's like really, like, it's not going anywhere. And I also love that I could wear it up here if I wanted to. Isn't that it's adorable? If you want. Yes, I think it's so cute. Anyway, <laughs> I just thought because of our chat today, I wanted to wear something to fit again jamie and i are talking about swim season stress because my gosh um may is right around the corner i can't even believe that april's almost over i know or, well it's halfway crazy. Over. i couldn't believe it um and so yeah like right now like at co edition we're starting to focus on swimwear tomorrow we have this awesome project that we are um, we finally completed. It's called One Suit, Many Bodies. We sent the same swimsuit to nine different women, all different sizes, all different body shapes. And I edited it and combined it into one video. And it is just like, it's such a cool thing to see. Um, mm -hmm. And I just think that having more body representation out there is really good for us. Um, so and we can important. totally get into that. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so swim season. Hey, I can't wait to see Let's that. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about swim season. Yeah. Um, tell us in the comments, before we get started, tell us in the comments if you do experience stress, like when it comes to thinking about like, oh my gosh, in a few months, like I may have to put a swimsuit on in front of everyone, you know? How does that make you feel? Are you excited? 
are you nervous? Are you anxious? Are you dreading it? Are you so excited to just rip your clothes off and be out in the sun? Um, let us know in the comments how you feel about the upcoming swim season. Um, so today, in preparation for this chat, Jamie did some uh, research on how women in general feel about swimsuit season. Yes. And you came across some very interesting stuff. Oh, and um, Sandaria, Sandaria, I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. She says she feels nice about it. We'd love to hear that. Oh, good. I love that. Yeah. And um, we would love to hear if, also let us know if you've always um, felt nice about it or if that was something that took you time to get to or, right. yeah, just like, re, just like let us know more. We, we would love to hear. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, what did you find, Jamie? Yeah, so in the, a little bit of research that I did, I found that a vast 82% feel pressure to get in shape before swimsuit season. 82? Really, 82% of people felt like they needed to get in shape for swimsuit season. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's a that's lot. That's a lot of people. <laughs> that's like, you have 10 women, that's eight out of 10, basically. Yeah, women. I should say, that yeah. was women. Um, they did a study of like 4,000 women and that's how they got that percentage. Um, and then it said 79 were unhappy with their bodies and 21% were happy with their bodies um, for swim season. So uh, I guess, yeah, that, that would tell you a lot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. For me personally, I, um, I think that was something that used to really bother me. I'd be like, okay, it's, it's almost summer. I really have to like work out more and like really get in shape. That was definitely something in my college years that was important to me. Um, and I was actually thinking about this and I, I used to live in Israel and which is so different. Oh my gosh. Um, I did not know that. Did I know that? How long did you live in Israel so. for? I lived there for like a year and a half and oh. um, I know, yeah. And it's like very different than here. And they, I would say, do not accept curvier bodies as much. And so for me, like being on the beach all the time um, was really hard for me. And so then I was like constantly working on things like that because I would get looks or things like that. Um, so I think that time in my life, I definitely was insecure and was like, okay, I got to get that perfect beach bod. Um, but now for me, it's, it's changed a lot. I'm like, oh yeah, that cellulite, I'm going to show it off. Like <laughs> here it is and it's beautiful and I earned it and that's me, you know? So yeah. it definitely took some time to get, get up to that. What about you? Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how far back you want to go. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it wasn't until, honestly, like, I started modeling that I got more comfortable in a swimsuit. And it was, and it wasn't, like, the act of modeling. It was the fact that I was in swimsuits more often I was seeing mm -hmm. my body in a swimsuit and I right it's like something that I got used to seeing like oh that's what my body looks like um because honestly like before whenever I'd see my body in a swimsuit as if like a random candid photo was taken or like a family photo was taken or whatever you know um and it was always so jarring because it wasn't something that I saw very often um, mm -hmm. so I would say probably within like the last five years, um, Same. and also a huge thing that has made a difference is I have started to find swimwear that I actually like because that is a huge change. Yes. Because growing up or like in my college years, like I was, I would think to, I was thinking back, I'm like, where would I buy my swimsuits? Like target but even back then like they didn't have plus so like I was trying to fit my body into like a size extra large and that like really wasn't giving me enough coverage to have me feel comfortable and I just felt uncomfortable and um oh my gosh like 
so uncomfortable like my thighs and my stomach and you know like i remember when um like high-waisted bikinis started to become a thing and i jumped all over that trend because i was like i can still wear a bikini but i'm covering an area that i'm super self-conscious of and i just like mm -hmm. loved it and then i feel like that trend really just started to catch on and i felt like more plus size people were being seen in swimwear. And then I feel like in probably the last, um, in the last, I don't know, four years, like, like plus size swimwear has like blown up. Like, yeah, it has gotten like, th it's so good. I mean, we still have some from some room to go, but it's so much better than it was. And it's great because we're seeing those models bodies like ours you know that and and we're not just seeing the same size or the same body type we're seeing all different shapes and sizes so that's really helping our us mentally you know yes what what, what a, a woman looks like like they look all different shapes and sizes right not just one and that's what you have to look like you know yeah oh my gosh that's why i'm so excited for this video tomorrow it's gonna be so, yeah. i mean nine different women um and then um Sandaria, she actually responded. She said, I apologize for the miscommunication as my nice comment was in reference to the floral print suit. Oh, and she said, for the record, I can appreciate beautiful swimmer, but cannot remember the last time I wore one. The world needs more body positivity. Yes, I, I hear you. And that's what that is what Jamie and I are here to do today is to help relieve some of that stress going into swimsuit season because it's like it should be fun like summer should be fun and carefree and you know get some like vitamin d and relax and enjoy yes. so hopefully after the end of this conversation we will find some ways to like feel better about it um yeah and then before we move um anitra said i'm not stressed out to look a certain way for strangers on a beach or at, at a pool i am confident with every rule dimple or stretch mark that i have i have earned them all yes that's mm -hmm. what we love <laughs> to hear oh my god yes so awesome mm -hmm. um so so yeah i feel like um you know with plus size clothing changing swim <coughs> excuse me has also begun to change and there's mm -hmm. so many beautiful options out there like I remember a couple of years ago when I was working as a model for a swimwear brand and I saw the very first off the shoulder suit and I was so obsessed with it and I had never seen that style. And, you know, I feel like now, like, this is so cute to me that I'm like, if, if I was still self-conscious, I mean, and you know, there are totally days where I would be like, I do not want to be caught dead in a swimsuit. Mm -hmm. I'm having one of those days. I'm gonna find a suit that's gonna be like, this is this is so freaking cute <laughs> that people are gonna be looking at this. Look at this. They're gonna be looking at this design and this pattern, then like focusing in on my thighs. Right. They're gonna be like, she is so adorable. Look at how cute she looks. Where did she get that suit from? Yeah. Instead of little things that we are so hard on ourselves about that no one cares. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um what are certain ways we feel society has put pressure on women to look a certain way? And how do you think that that's changed over time? Yeah. Um, I think society, like, like we said, when, when swimsuit shopping, like you said, it was really hard to, when I was younger, like I remember being 13 and being thicker and it was so hard to go shopping and find swimsuits mm -hmm. in general for my size. I think it was like a 12, 14. And I remember it being the worst experience with my mom. She would take me to this, like the, the suits were like very matronly and here I am 13 and I don't want to look like, like, you know, if I go hang out with my friends or I go to a swim party that I, I'm wearing something that looks for, like, it's for a more mature woman instead of a 13-year-old, you know? Right. Um, so I, I do think we've progressed definitely with, um, 
with options and things like that. But society has put so much pressure on us to look that specific way, like from different diets or like even there was a diet called Beachbody, you know? And I mean, that says it right there. Like, oh, you in order to have go to the beach, you have to have this body. Right. You know? Right. And I think now like, um, you know, our very first episode that we ever did on On the Plus Side, Jamie and I, was about diet culture. And I feel mm -hmm. like we get that a lot in January. And then I think, I feel like it comes back around a little bit in mm -hmm. late spring, beginning of summer. Um, I recently came across um, an, a brand, I'm not going to say the name, that used some pretty, like, <sighs> disheartening um verbi verbiage um when mm -hmm. it comes they were showcasing a new suit and they used some very disheartening verbiage about the suit like um i can't remember what it was exactly but basically it was like you hate your body use the suit to cover it up sort of situation and Oi. people were really upset about it really upset about it and i feel like now people are speaking up and being like this is not okay like you mm -hmm. need to like we need to celebrate our bodies and not like t obviously if you're wearing a swimsuit you don't want to you're not the purpose of it is not to cover up your body you know what i mean like of course right. you want to be comfortable in it but i feel like companies need to really stay away from that and then we're still having it however good news is that after people really called this brand out they went back in and they changed their ad to have more positive body positive verbiage. So I was super happy to see that. Um, and then, yeah, and just having more options has been huge. And, you know, before I started working at Coedition, I, we have a ton of swim and I didn't know. I mean, if it wasn't for me working for Coedition, I still wouldn't know the brands that we have, like Raisins Curve or Lime Ricky or Mapale, or I didn't, I didn't know City Chic had swim. I didn't know, I know. Kirby Sense had swim. So cute. Yes. Yes. Eloquy. Or, yes, Eloquy or Anini, like, or um, Saint Somebody, like so many good small brands that um, I would love to support, you know, I always just like thought that I would have to get it from big box stores, which also they're not the best quality. And I feel like with swim, a lot of times, like I'll see swim that to me from my past have like a pretty high price tag and I'm like sticker shocked. Then right. I'm like, oh my, I put it on and I'm like, oh my God, this quality, like it's not gonna just last one season, which in the Midwest is like three months max. <laughs> and um, you have, you know, discoloration, rips, it's worn out, it's stretched out with really nice suits, those, and you find something that you love, those are going to be lasting for three, four, five years. So I think it's totally worth it. And we have some really good suits that are very reasonable, which I love, like cute, stylish, reasonable, and well-made. I'm like, check, check, check. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I saw someone yeah. in the comments say that this suit would look really great with white capris. That would be Absolutely. adorable. Yeah. Um, or I'm like a try to like skirt. That would be yes. so cute. I'm going to try to like gracefully like crop myself <laughs> so people can see it better. <laughs> Show it up. Um, yes. I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to be putting it back up and down. If you guys are just tuning in, this is a swimsuit. I'm wearing a swimsuit and it's so cute. And um, we were saying that we could, it could totally double as a bodysuit, put jeans, um, white capris, uh, one of you guys said, which I think is such a good idea. Um, so let's go back to like our early days because obviously when we're little, when we're little girls, like I remember like wearing a swimsuit and even if I had like, you know, a chubby tummy or whatever, I didn't care. Like I was having a ball. Yeah then it's like, at what point do we like realize like, oh, this is uncomfortable to me or I feel self-conscious. Like, do you remember when you felt that? 
Yeah, I do. Like, I think in middle school when my body started changing <laughs> a little bit and then that carried on to high school, I remember going to my first like boy girl party and it was a swim party and I was so uncomfortable that I put like a towel over my lap and like I, I would and around my hips and like, they're like, Jamie, come in, come in. Why are you coming? And I would like, what? I just sat there and I was like, no, I can talk from here. I'm good. Like, I was just so uncomfortable and it's sad. That's sad. Like, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, that was, that was hard, you know? And then yeah. I went on, obviously I was like, Hey, I, I like my body. Like, you know, that, but that definitely took time. Yeah. But, um, but you know, I'm an eighties baby. So that was a while ago. And, and, and that time there was body positivity wasn't really a thing, you know? So I'm so happy for, the younger shrimps right now that that have that you know what I mean absolutely absolutely I think we've made a lot of progress with that yeah for sure I also I believe my like self-consciousness with swim started when I was in middle school and I tell this story a lot because it's just like one of the biggest stories that like stands out in my mind like as being a young girl um, when I was in middle school, my brother and I used to go to summer camp together for like a whole week and it was like a boy girl summer camp. Um, and I remember one year I, of course my mom packed my suit, you know, like I didn't wear, I didn't go swimming once the whole week. And like, we were literally in cabins, like on a lake, like canoeing, swimming, paddleboarding, like everything. Like I avoided going into the water. I didn't wear a suit all week. And I just think, I think back on that. I'm like, that is so freaking sad. Like, you know, like I just, I wouldn't do it because I was too scared to have people see me in a swimsuit. Right. And it's like, they even did fun things. Like I still remember um, every morning they would do the polar plunge and they'd get up at like 6 a.m. and they'd all run and they'd do the polar plunge. And I like still to this day have never done anything like that. And I keep saying like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, maybe maybe and, we'll do it together, Ashley. We'll do the polar plunge. <laughs> yes. Apparently they do it every New Year's Day out at Coney Island. And I was like, oh, that'd be so Let's fun. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I think back on that and I'm like, you know, if I had a daughter and I send her off to camp, like, and I come, I come and pick her up and I hear that she didn't go swimming or didn't wear her suit one time because she was self-conscious. Like I would be heart broken. broken yeah and um and then from there like I just like around my family I was fine around my best friends I was fine but anytime we'd have to do like a swim day at school like mm -hmm. I can't oh, even yeah, tell gym? you did you guys have to yes. swim in gym? oh that was like torture I can't even tell you how much stress like I remember I would just mm -hmm. be clinging to my best friend Becky because I just like felt like, oh my God, like get me out of this hell right now, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like I would avoid any boy girl parties. Like I just really did not even put myself in a situation where I'd be caught dead in a suit if it wasn't my like yeah. close, close, close friends or my family. Um, right. Which is so funny now because <laughs> there's like so many photos of me like, <laughs> in my suit just totally <laughs> living my life um here I am. yeah here i am and honestly like it feels so much better you know mm -hmm. to not and honestly i do not i don't have stress anymore at all like i'm just kind of like whatever like it is what it is this is my body um i will say that if i were wearing a suit that i was uncomfortable in then i mm -hmm. might like then like the insecurity might creep back in but I feel like that goes with anything if you were wearing a dress that was really uncomfortable or, right, or something jeans. that didn't fit well yeah 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 so um I feel like there's got to be so many similar stories in regards to wearing swimwear as a young girl um mm -hmm. or now you know it's like that's just it's just tough um yeah especially for like millennials or older generations because like you said 
we didn't have body positivity back then. Like that wasn't a thing. Um, no. My grandma doesn't even know how to swim. And I know that she had a lot of body problem, like, you know, and um, image issues. And, um, and I bet that that kind of is coincides a little bit, you know? Oh my gosh. That she wow. doesn't even know how to swim because of that. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everyone yeah. who's watching, let us know in the comments if you can remember when you may or may not have felt self-conscious for the first time in a swimsuit. Um, and I feel like there is like always a time because you can, you mean, you know, those little kids, they don't care what they're wearing. They could be running no. around in their underwear and they're just like, I love when fun. they're like wearing those little bikinis and their little belly yes. hanging out. Like, yes. you know, I think that's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I have a niece who is going to be nine this summer, and I just like wonder, like, if it's ever going to like switch for her. She's still in that mode. She just like wears mm -hmm. whatever she wants, and I freaking love it. She's like the most confident little chick around. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it'll be really interesting because she's she looked very similar to me when I was her age. You know, like mm -hmm. my family were all like bigger folks. That's just that's in our DNA, you know? Yep. Um, so it'll be really interesting to watch her as she grows and if she experiences some of the things that I experienced, you know? Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't yeah. change for her, you know? Yeah. I hope <laughs> yeah. so. I really, really hope so. So that being said, so like, what are some of the ways you've gotten over, you know, whether it's showing your showing sh stretch marks or cellulite or varicose veins or thigh chafing, what has helped you get past that? I think for me, and we've kind of talked about this before, like seeing women that look like me in, in ads and things like that does help me a lot or having that on my social media helped a lot. We've also said kind of like, um, when I started modeling because I was just in it a lot more. So maybe for mm -hmm. someone who just, you know, isn't used to wearing a swimsuit, like maybe wear it around your house a lot more, you know, something silly like that, but where you get comfortable because you're like, okay, I feel comfortable now. Like I've worn this, I feel, it feels like home to me. And you know, I feel confident in this. So Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of different things that I think that would be something you could do. <laughs> Kind of silly, I, but it might help. No, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, mm -hmm. you're not a model and you have an excuse to be wearing swimsuits for whatever reason. Like, totally style one as an outfit. Like, if you have one yes. like this, style it as an outfit. Put it on. You know, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, try to find a way to be like, damn, I look good. You know I what I good. mean? Um, yeah just just make you have yourself become familiar with your body and what it looks like in a suit so if that means you're taking 100 selfies in the mirror then girl take 100 selfies in the mirror you know what i mean <laughs> no one will have to know no one's gonna judge you and you know it's like we are working on ourselves so mm -hmm. even if it seems ridiculous do what's going to be best for you if you have an occasion coming up if you're you know gonna be in a suit and you're stressed about it take like these steps every day to be like okay let me put the suit on what is it that's bothering me how can i make myself feel better you know and mm -hmm. i think just tackling it up like head on and first of all acknowledging it and what it is exactly that's giving you the stress is gonna right. be helpful and also like you know, I think about things like still today, like when I think about like thigh chafing, like mm -hmm. that honestly sucks. And mm -hmm. it happens to everyone, even thin mm -hmm. people. Um, but obviously, especially like I deal with it a lot. And I have just come to terms with the fact that like, I cannot leave the house in a dress without anything underneath. Like, in just underwear like I have to have something or I'm going to have welts on my inner thighs like 
Okay, save yourself, Ashley. Put some biker shorts on, get some mega babe side chafe, whatever it is. And the same goes for like <laughs> at the beach, you know, yes. like find some cute shorts. Like if you know that you're going to be walking a lot or, you know, just like you, you can totally, totally make it work. Also, if you're at the point, I think if you are like totally not ready to, to put yourself out there, baby steps. So maybe you do yeah. pair a suit with a cute pair of shorts, you yes. know, like maybe it's what our follower said. Like maybe you have this suit and maybe at first you wear it up here and then maybe you like want to wear it down here the next day. And maybe you go out with some capris and then maybe you go out with some white shorts, you know, mm -hmm. like. Or like a shawl that covers maybe the back of your legs are in insecurity or like, you know, if you have like your veins that you can see like, or you don't want to show your cellulite, then wear like a little shawl where you can still see your, you know, your swimsuit and just cover a few things, but like baby yeah. steps for sure. Yeah. I know a lot of women have insecurities with their arms mm -hmm. and this would be the perfect suit for you because it literally covers your upper arm. Yes. Like I'm not a huge fan of this area of my arm. And I just realized like this totally covers that. Yes. <laughs> There's so many options out there. Honestly, like if you have any area that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm super self-conscious of this area. I'm sure, mm -hmm. unless it's like your legs, <laughs> I'm sure you could find something that fits you. But you know, there's even like those really cute, like vintage looking, um, shorts or um, swim dresses. Yes, that are so There's adorable. Definitely, or those like little sports that those like swim sports where if you're a little insecure about your thighs or your legs, like they are longer. You oh, know. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. You know, I mean, it is totally stressful though. But there's so many things that you can do. But I love um, what you said about like styling it. So until you feel your best, like wearing it around the house, styling it out and then, and then going, you know, and, and, um, I love that. Yes. That like how you put like a really cute lipstick with your swimsuit, you know, that like a pink yeah. lipstick that makes you feel good. You know, I love that. It looks a lot darker in the photo it, in this, but it, I was trying to match this. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> That color. It's so cute. It's in the same color. I store. love doing that. I yes, like, me too. If I've ever gone on vacations before, I want to wear like glasses and then have like a bold lip. Hi, Catherine. Because yes. um, it's just so fun. It's yes. so fun. Our friend Catherine is a fellow model and she's actually currently in the hospital going to have a baby very, very soon. So. We oh wish you goodness. the best of luck. She's gonna have a cute little baby girl. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jen, how can we change the way society has created a one-dimensional woman that should look one very specific way in a bathing suit? Um, I mean, just keep, you know, be like, I think telling other women like, hey, you look beautiful in that and like complimenting other women. I think that really helps. I know that sometimes like I'll be like, oh my gosh, you look great in that. Like, and then a woman would be like, oh my gosh, did she just compliment me about that? And I think that that's a really big thing, you know, just supporting women, supporting women and just encouraging, you know, body positivity and, and all shapes and sizes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that that is so important. So mm -hmm. important. And I think it like, you know, I think society, like what they present as like, what a body should look like in a suit. I feel like, you know, with social media nowadays, and like, what we watch on Netflix or whatever, we kind of have control over what we're exposing ourselves to. 100%. You know, like yeah. you said, follow accounts on Instagram, on Facebook that show you different body types mm -hmm. because that has been, a, that's been huge for me in like learning to love myself, 
you know, I follow a lot of posterized influencers and bloggers and like seeing them in these adorable out adorable outfits and swimsuits, I'm like, oh my God. Right. Well, they look so great. great. Right. Yeah. I'm like, well, they look great. That means like I'm similar to them. Like I must look kind of great as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think we are definitely our harshest critic. Oh, we are yes. our own harshest Hands critic. Down. Yes. Yes. So that would be like my number one tip is to surround yourself with the media, like surround yourself with things that are going to make you feel included and inclusive. And, mm -hmm. you know, don't subject yourself to media where you're like getting Victoria's Secret models thrown at you. You know, right. like I know there was a, there was that photo of Ken, Kendall Jenner in like mm -hmm. a swimsuit, I think. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but I feel like it was, I don't know if I would say like triggering to me, but I kind of was like, whoa, like she's oh. so thin. And like for a second I was like, damn, like I kind of wish I had a body like that. And then I saw all of these bloggers like recreating the photo uh -huh. of their bodies. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I love this. Love that. Because mm -hmm. compared to all of these other women, it almost looked like she was like, no shade to her, but it almost looked like it was like, not she wasn't real i was like wait like this looks like such um she almost looked like she had a barbie body you know like something right. that's like unrealistic like you would never be able to have it like you know <laughs> because i think if you were to take a barbie and like put it into a real life she would be like seven feet tall something crazy like that <laughs> um but i loved that the larger women the community of larger women came in and did a comparison side by side because it just was such a great reminder that like you don't have to look like this this you can good. wear you can wear a yeah. bikini and look like this and still right. be awesome you know mm -hmm. yeah um so if you do come across stuff like that um and it does bother you like definitely you know block that post or unfollow that person there's nothing wrong with making what comes into your life better for you. Right. That makes sense. And we've also kind of talked about um, with as far as social media and then who you surround yourself with or like if you are going to the pool or you're going to the beach or you're wearing a swimsuit somewhere, you know, surrounding yourself with people that you feel comfortable with. You know, I do think mm -hmm. that that definitely makes a huge difference. So. Absolutely. And that also goes into like so many other talks we've had, like positive self-talk, mm -hmm. you know, like when you put a swimsuit on, try not to berate yourself with negative comments mm -hmm. and also be careful that, cause I have a couple of friends that are really hard on themselves. They're a lot smaller than I am. Right. But hearing that from them, it's, it's not good for you. No. <laughs> As well. It yeah, is honestly like, hard. I'm that and I'm this. Yes. And it's hard for me. That? Yes. It's hard for me to hear them say that about themselves, but then it also right. makes me question and reflect about myself. Right. It's tough. But I would say, like, if you can keep it positive on your end, that's huge. Mm -hmm. that, that's going to make a difference, you know? Daily yeah. affirmations, Catherine. Says. Yes. Oh, and she's having her baby in seven days. Seven days. Oh my yes. <gasps> That's so <Not> exciting. <laughs> she said, write down your affirmations on your mirror. I think that's a great idea. Write them on your mirror. Put your suit on. Like, first of all, find a suit that you love, that you're excited about, whether it's the color, the style, the, the versatility. You know, like, I love that this one's so versatile. Um, you know, like, there, we have so many great options at Codition. And obviously, if you buy some and it doesn't work out, you can return it. Just make sure that little, little strip in the crotch area is still there. <laughs> and the tag is still on. But, yes. um, 
you know, sometimes it is still really hard to find suits in store. Yeah. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like there's so many more options online. It's just the reality yes. of it. Um, yeah. But if you find one that you're obsessed with, invest in it. Swims swimsuits can be an investment. So invest, get that puppy home, put it on in front of the mirror where you have your affirmations written down. Thank you, Catherine, for that tip. Yes. And just like give yourself some self love, you know? It's like prep yourself, like get yourself like totally amped up. And like, I feel like that would help a lot. I think so too. I think you sold me on that swimsuit. I'm like, I want that now. <laughs> it's so cute. You know, Raisins so Curve. Okay, I'm trying to like so adjust here. Ones. Um, Raisins Curve, their stuff, I'll just like talk about it quick, is so, such good quality. Like the cups for your boobs are amazing. Um, like everything is so supportive. I had had a couple seats from them last year and they were, I just like could not believe the quality and the support of it. And they came up with this new off the shoulder, or you can have it up here. Oh my gosh, I just love. Like, this is so cute. Like, I do want to like put like, see, I would totally pair this with like a pair of like ripped jeans. Oh, I just love it. And then, yeah, we have these straps. If you wanted even more support, that's what it would look like. That's too cute. Oops. I, I love it so much. I might want to do off the shoulder, but in case I need more support for the girls, then I would definitely add that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think if you had it with these straps, you would wear it off the shoulder and then have the strap like that. So cute. Um, love it so much. Uh, and mm -hmm. they just launched some new stuff as well. So one of my favorite colors lately has been sage, like sage Ooh. green. And they yes. just launched all these sage green suits that are so gorgeous. But mm -hmm. this is not the only swim brand that Codition has. Lime Ricky is another one of my favorites. It's owned by, it was created and now it's owned, it's created and owned and designed by either, it's either two sisters or two best friends. I forget. But like the story behind it is so adorable and they're still like a small brand and all of their stuff is mix and match. And I just love hearing about stuff like that. I, you know, like yeah. smaller brands and like having women like have their designs come to life. I think it's just like so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back and like read some of the comments because I know there were some that we missed. Also, if anyone, you know, to those who are listening, if you guys have any tips of your own, let us know. You know, Jamie and I are just two people. Um, let's see. Love your video and the floral top and extra straps will be perfect with the white capris. Judith said. Yes. That. You're so Thank right. You. All the models were super skinny, but now we are seeing real women. Yes, that's so yes. true. And then, yeah. Someone said with white capris. Um, I had seen I I had seen a couple of people on our like some of our customers take like a black swimsuit and style that with jeans. Um, yeah, like and the were so though. cute. Yeah. And over Valentine's Day, I had seen another customer style like a like a teddy lingerie with jeans and i was like that is so smart make your That's wardrobe so work cute. for you yes. um even a sarong so cute and chic yes a sarong that was the um yes thing you can really uh you know accessorize your suit with if you are out mm -hmm. and you don't feel comfortable about your legs or whatever use a sarong like they're so adorable also, like swimsuit cover ups in general have gotten so cute now that I almost I feel know. like I want to wear that as a dress. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, and then, of course, there's like the classic white button up, like say it's like a white linen shirt button up that people use as um, as cover ups, which I think uh -huh. is super or if chic. You're in here with your uh, legs, like a uh, linen pant is really cute with a suit. <gasps> Yes, That'd be really cute. yes. Yeah. 
Um, Judith says, your video has been very informative to me. I am plus size women who will be trying on many suits until I find the one, the best one that fits and makes my body look its best. I will preserve, persevere. I will persevere. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love that. I'm yeah. so, so glad. Oh my gosh. Um, it's tough, you know, it can be totally tough, but you know, I think the great thing about social media, going back to that, is that you can really find a community of women that are like you, you know, mm -hmm. um, and have women support each other. Like if you get a new suit and, and you need someone else but besides yourself to hype you up, send them a photo. Like I could totally send a photo to Jamie and be like, Jamie, what do you think? And I know that you would totally have my back. And you're like, that looks awesome, girl, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's why, like, finding people that are like us, like, who have curves and who are plus size, like, it feels so great to have I a community. I when, um, when we see, like, customers, like, tag pro edition, and then we get to see how, how they styled the outfit or how they wore it. it. To me, that's, like, the best. And then, like, other women being like, oh, my gosh, you look amazing. You know, how did, how, where, what dress is that, you know? That's like yeah. such a great community to me. And I feel like with swimsuits, we should definitely do that. <laughs> yes. And so we have a ton of swim um, content coming up that I'm super excited about. Again, like I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, tomorrow we are um, having a very special video go live called One Suit, Many Bodies where we sent one suit to nine different women of all body types completely across the board. And we did a fun little video, how they each styled it, how, however they wanted um, their own flair. Um, but I just think that things like that are really helpful to bring awareness that no matter what size your body is, you are allowed to wear a suit. You have space out on that beach or you are you deserve space out on that beach just as much as thin people do and i think that's just what we need to keep telling ourselves um mm -hmm. we also have some really other cool projects coming up so i hope that the onslaught of um swim swim content is going to help boost your confidence and get mm -hmm. you ready for the season because i mean yeah. summer is so fun right exactly and with cute swimsuits like that, styling it really fun, and you're just going to feel good about yourself, you know? I might have to, like, now I'm so inspired to take this suit and style it. Okay, you guys keep an eye out for an image on my Instagram soon. <laughs> because um, I had seen this, like, before it launched on our site, and I was like, God, I need that. is so cute. <laughs> and actually, this pattern is in another suit on our site as well. So if you're not a fan of the off-the-shoulder little ruffle, we do have one that doesn't that is a different style, but in the same exact print. So definitely check it out. Check out our swim selection on coedition.com. We have such good stuff. And like so many sizes. Mm -hmm. So um, are you getting a new suit this year, Jamie? Am I getting a new suit? Yeah. Are we, oh, yes. I'm like, I, would you be mad if I got that one? Oh, no. My God. <laughs> That's so cute. But we do have so many cute ones. I'm definitely going to have to take a look and, like, go swim shopping because my new apartment has a really nice pool, and I am planning on spending the summer there. So I'm like, got to have some oh cute collections gosh. where I feel good. That's exciting. So I don't have a pool, yeah. but now in my new place. So both Jamie and I just moved. We're both in our new places. A couple yes. weeks ago, we did an episode on change. Well, we're both finally here. <laughs> my place is still kind of coming along. As you can see, we have some pretty white walls, but we'll get there very soon. But I don't have a fancy swimming pool like Jamie, but I do have a pretty large patio. So I will be very excited too. Yes, um, and you can always come over and join me at the pool. So. Oh, I would love that. I would love that yes. so, so much. Well, thank you for joining me. Yes, thank I you. This, this is fun. Yeah, I think that, honestly, this is a really important conversation 
because I think that more people have stress about this than, mm -hmm. than, than people that don't. And so, you know, if you weren't able to tune in for the entire live, let's continue the conversation. Um, hi, Julie. Hi, Vaughn. I miss you too, Julie. Um, <laughs> Julie is a friend of mine from North Dakota. Um, she, we used to go to the same lake place in Minnesota. Um, when I was living there. And so we were definitely swimsuit buddies multiple times. Yes. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, let's continue the conversation. If you guys have any questions about any of the swim swimwear on our site or any of, you know, the tips that we talked about getting confident in what almost feels like our skivvies, you know, like some swimsuits are like your bra and underwear practically, but like, you know, you can do it. If that's what you want to wear, girl, rock it. Rock mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, let's continue the conversation. You can always reach out to us. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, support at coedition.com, um, all the social channels. And uh, we would love to, you know, support you and uh, keep this conversation going. And you can always find um, Jamie and I on our on our private or our personal platforms on Instagram, I'm at it's Ashley Braxton and Jamie is Jamie underscore Thinkenthal. Um, you can find us and um, keep an eye out for this star look. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I know, me too. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me, Jamie. And thank um, you. I am so always so happy and grateful to chat with you. And um, I hope you have an amazing week. And until next time, you guys, dress well yeah. and be well. <laughs> and well. Um, I'll see you next week. Yes, that was great. All right, bye, bye everyone. Bye.